Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to look at speed related items when it comes to controlling the robot and also the speed in which it goes from point to point. So the first thing we're going to look at is the default speed. So I'm going to delete this position two where we come down to the corner of the rectangle here or the square. So when we go in here, we're going to go add move point and we're going to linear down to that. And you'll notice that the linear has 100 millimeters per second and then the joint movement has 100%. Now these are the default in this program and maybe the default to your teach pendant as well. So if I click here, the default is 100. So if I want to go in there and change this to say 2000, so it rapids down to that position, you would have to go in here and change that manually every single time you place a new point. So instead of doing this, if you know that the majority of your program is going to be at 2000 millimeters per second, we can set this as a default. So I deleted that position so we can redo it. So we're going to go to add move point and instead of placing our move point now you usually do this in the beginning of your program when you're starting out you're going to go to edit depth and inside edit depth you have your different positions so instead of a linear here at 100 millimeters per second I can arrow over to 100 and go to 1 2 3 and we can put in whatever speed we want so I can have it at 2000 millimeters per second exit and now my default linear movement is going to be at 2000. Now if I want a continuous movement at the end I can change this also to 2000 millimeters per second. Now if you're not a millimeters person and you prefer inches you can just go over to the 2000 and instead of the millimeters per second we can go to choice and here's your different options that you have. You have millimeters per second, centimeters per minute, inches per minute, seconds, degrees, seconds, and everything else under the sun. So if you want things to be in inches per minute then you can put in inches per minute. I prefer things to be in millimeters per second. So now we have 2000 we can also change our continuous motion to whatever you want. So if you like to have it at say 30 instead of the full 100 you have this default at 30. So if I go down here I can change this to 30 as well. So now when I hit done and then I put in my move point here I can go add move point and notice how everything is saved from our modification of our definitions. So we have our continuous 30, continuous 30, we have our 2000 millimeters per second fine, 2000 millimeters per second fine as well. So I'm going to go to that point right there, I'm going to add our position, and I'm going to change this to number 2, so that's back at the corner of my object. So now, instead of going back and changing this constantly, 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 we can easily just go in here right at the beginning and then change everything that we don't want to have at that speed rather than going back and changing everything. The other items that I'd like to do, I like to set up a register in which I can modify the speed based on the scenarios that I'm working with. So I'm going to set up one of these registers to be a speed register. So I'm going to go to data and right now I actually do have a speed register already set up but if you need to set up a new one just onto the next register and double click it go to options keyboard keyboard and then you could type in your item so it can be new speed for me and then you can set it to whatever you want but now we're going to set this in actual program so it really doesn't matter what we set it here as because we're going to reinitialize it when we're in the actual program so let's go into the actual program and then go under the variables heading I added another line and we're going to go new instruction register number seven and we're going to set that to the speed we want so if we want this to be say 500 or 1000 we can set it to anything and we can modify it after the program is ran and then we could try it again to narrow down the speed or to dial in the correct speed so register number seven is equal to 1000 and then i can go down into my program and where we have our lines here so i can go here 100 millimeters per second i can go to register and then I can use register number seven, which we initialized up here as being 1000. Now I can modify and change all these speeds based on that register up there. So this is really useful for when you are actually dialing in the speed to get it perfect. 
just change this to register 7 as well. There we go. So the speed is 1,000 millimeters per second, 1,000 millimeters per second, so each one of these. Now if I change this to 2,000, each one of these are now 2,000 millimeters per second. So just to show that, let's go 500, and then let's run this program. So now, instead of 500, let's go 2,000, turn on my teach pendant, and let's go 2,000, and then run the program again. So the last thing that has to do with speed is we're going to now initialize something that is known as a global speed override. So I created a new couple lines and I had it as speed change and in line 10 we're going to go new instruction and we're going to go to miscellaneous and we're going to go to override. So this allows us to override any speed that is inside our program. So we can set this to a register or we can do it a constant number. So if we go 100 that means everything is going to be at full speed of the program so it's going to run at 2000 millimeters per second or 100 percent of the max speed but let's see this run and now if we change this speed override to say 50 and run it and you'll see that it goes a lot slower now because it's running at 50 percent so instead of 2,000, it's running at 1,000 millimeters per second. So you can see when you're trying to dial things in, you can easily change the speed override and change everything, including the 100% joint movements and also the linear movements.